Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? Cub here, and welcome back to Tech It Classic Reborn, the exciting series that takes place within Tech It Classic Reborn. Yeah, maybe I should have thought that out a little bit before I started the opening. Anyway, welcome back folks. Not a whole lot has changed since episode one, which if you guys watched it, you'll remember we built a generator and a bat box. We're going to be building a couple of more machines here today, but before we do that, I wanted to show you guys something interesting that I discovered. So back in the original Tech It Classic, oh, I already have a tree tap, it used to be you could leave these rubber trees up and over time they would generate more um, sap here and as you can see that's still a thing so if we leave this tree up come back to it in a little bit we'll have more sap same thing here so you don't actually have to cut down the trees and regrow them you just have to wait and they'll eventually spawn some more sap and it looks like that was the last of our tree tap but let's go ahead and take this sticky resin inside and get it cooking up because we're going to need tons of rubber for today's little project. Now, I've had a lot of, actually, like a lot of people comment and say that I need to build this guy here, the Metal Former, which is a pretty cool machine that basically does the job of our hammer and our cutters, except for it does it using power, and it does a couple other things, and it is a really cool, oh, what's this, mixed metal ingot? Interesting. Oh, I remember that. Uh, see, all this Tekkit Classic stuff is starting to come back to me. Anyway, while this is very useful, I don't think it's necessary just yet. There are a couple other things that we can build that will help us get more of our, out of our resources before we build that. And of course, those things would be, first off, well, second, an electric furnace, but first, a macerator, which you should definitely build before an electric furnace. It's really simple. Three flint, a couple pieces of cobblestone, a basic machine casing, and you remember that from last time, and then an electric circuit. We haven't built one of these yet, but as you can see, they're pretty simple. Just an iron plate, some insulated copper cabling, and some redstone. Now, I've done a bit more mining since last episode, and in fact, I've cleared out most of the crevasse, and I like saying crevice like that, so just deal with it. So I've cleared out most of the crevasse of the, the items down there, and so we have quite a bit of iron, some copper. Still don't have a whole lot of tin yet, though, but uh, that's okay, and it's good because we're running out of all of those things. But first off, let's make those six copper cables that we'll need, and in order to make those, we first start off with a hammer, and some copper, and actually I figured this out too, it doesn't matter where you put these items in here, it's shapeless, so you can pretty much put them anywhere, get your seven, or I'm sorry, your six uh, copper plates, and then use your cutters to get, ooh, actually we didn't need that many, so we'll hold on to these three. I keep forgetting that uh, when you cut copper plates, you actually get two copper cables, so that's uh, something to remember. We'll create our six insulated copper cables, great. Now let's grab that redstone out of here. We got quite a bit of it now, so that's good. Uh, not as much as we're going to need for the whole mod pack, but definitely enough to get us started. Now we're going to need a piece of iron. Do I have any iron left over? I sure thought I did. I guess I don't. Okay, well we want to use iron sparingly because we'll just cook up eight pieces right now. We'll use the last of our charcoal. There we go, and the reason we don't want to make too, or melt down too many uh, pure ores is because we're going to be using this macerator here to break them up into dust, so we'll get two for each ore. And if that doesn't make any sense, it'll make a lot more sense here in a minute when I actually demo how it works. So we're going to crush that down to an iron plate, and I think that's actually everything. Yep, so there's our electronic circuit, we'll take that out and set it here, and then we're going to need our basic machine casing, which will require... Let's see, I think it's eight pieces of iron. Yep, so we're actually going to need another piece of iron after this. And I realize it's a waste of coal, but we're going to go ahead and throw a piece of coal in there with it. And don't flip out, it's completely acceptable because we have a lot of coal. It's, it's not like we're going to run out anytime soon, although that generator does eat a lot of coal, so maybe we should consider conservation on that. Once the iron's done though, let's go ahead and have our flint ready. We don't actually have that much flint, but we do have just enough. And I think once the iron's done, that's all we're going to need. So that's pretty good. So we'll just sit here and we'll wait. Now the electric furnace is going to require an iron furnace. So one, two, three, four, five pieces of iron and then plus another one in here. So let's actually go ahead and grab a few more pieces of iron and we'll put one, two, three, four, five, six in there. I think that's all that we need. And then that way we're not wasting that piece of coal and maybe people in the comments will go easy on me. So we're going to put that in there. We're going to add our hammer and we're just going to hold down shift and click. And so if you guys don't know about that, it's a good way to uh, make a whole bunch of items very quickly. So they'll give us our eight iron plates and then our basic machine casing. And now if we go back, to, oh, actually I got rid of the recipe. That's okay. I think I can remember it. Maybe. Let's see, where'd the flint go? 
Hmm. Ah, forgot the cobblestone. That is definitely a requirement. So put those in there. Flip these back around. There we go. Our macerator. Ta-da! Yay! Double trouble was our achievement for that. And actually, I want to put this kind of up against the wall there. We really need to build some wrenches so we can move these machines. In the meantime, though, I guess we can just make another insulated copper cable. There we go. And that won't carry a whole lot of power, but it'll carry just enough for this. So we'll place it right there. Plug in our macerator. Yep, it's all powered up. And now what's going to happen is we're going to put a piece of iron in there. And it's going to start grinding it up. And once it's done, boom, so you get two crushed iron ore. I know I said iron dust earlier. That's just because, yeah, no, it's dust in different mods. Oh, cool. So if you look up here, you'll see we have some compatible upgrades. We have a transformer upgrade, energy storage upgrade, an uh, ejector upgrade, and an overclocker upgrade. And those upgrades go over here. And um, all they really do is just make the machine more efficient and work faster. We'll be looking at those later. Now, what do we do with these crushed iron ore? Well, that's an excellent question. If we actually create a few more first, so I can kind of properly demo this for you. There we go. We're going to take the four of these, run back over here. And in the interest of wasting more coal, at this point, I think I'm just trolling people by using the coal. <laughs> but if we put the crushed iron ore in here with the coal, it'll actually give us for each piece of crushed iron ore, it will give us a piece of iron. So it, it's actually really good. It means that you're basically doubling all of your ores. So if you have, let's say, 10 iron ore and you uh, put it through the macerator, you'll get 20 crushed iron ore and therefore 20 ingots. It's actually, it's, it's really cool. And I know there are other mods that do things like this, but uh, this was kind of, I'm not going to say it's the original because I'm not really sure, but this is definitely the first one I know a lot of people used. And it was way back in the original Tech It Classic. And I think it's just a lot of fun to play with it now. Uh, and look at back on it with uh, fond memories. Ah, but it's time to retire these old school furnaces. They are they are from the past, my friends, and we have better technology awaiting us. We have the electric furnace. If I type in electric, it should be right there. And as I said earlier, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five iron plates and a furnace. Now the furnace, I don't know if you guys have ever built one before, but you basically just put cobble in a little ring like that, and look at that, you got a furnace, great. Um, and I was just joking, I'm pretty sure most people who've played Minecraft have probably built a furnace before. So let's build some iron plates. Oh, made six by accident, not a problem though. I'm sure we'll need another eventually. And that'll give us our iron furnace. And now we need to upgrade that to an electric furnace by adding two redstone and another electronic circuit, which means I have to create some more cables. Add an iron plate. Remember that extra iron plate I made earlier? Turns out we did need one eventually. Our electronic circuit, two redstone, boom, electronic furnace, our electric furnace. And actually let's build another copper. Copper? We'll build another copper cable for that. And again, I will be rearranging all this uh, once I have a tool that I can use to pick these up. Because again, uh, I think it's actually all the machines in this mod. If you just break them with a pick, they will only drop, I think it's an electric furnace. And you have to reapply the upgrades, whatever they are. There we go. Electric furnace plugged in, charged up. How are we doing on power here? Not bad. We can definitely throw another piece of coal in there if we wanted to, though. So we can keep power production up. And actually, I just thought about something. Um, could I throw something besides coal in this machine? I can't remember. Yes! It doesn't create a whole lot of power, but you can burn other things. So, what I was thinking about earlier was taking some shears out there to those leaves, breaking all the leaves, and then just throwing them in here. Because I was breaking them anyway, and I was like, you know what? If I'm going to be wasting these, I might as well toss them in the generator. But we'll go ahead and throw a piece of coal in there so we can maintain power in our bat box. Oh, also, you can charge armor in the bat box, but we'll get to that eventually. In the meantime, the electric furnace does exactly what you think it would, would do. It's a furnace, but it uses electricity. Let me demo with some more iron. <laughs> I like how that sound effect never makes it all the way through the process of macerating something. It always ends just a little too soon. What we're going to do is take our crushed iron, and you can throw it in here. And of course, you can just use a regular block of ore, but we have a macerator, and I don't want to waste anything. Boom! There you go. It's much faster and it's actually more efficient if you think about it because if you just wanted to make a single piece of iron in a regular furnace, you'd either have to use a couple sticks, which, I mean, who keeps a couple sticks lying around? Probably a lot of people. Or you'd have to throw and waste in a whole thing of coal. This is a lot more efficient because it just draws power out of the bat box where it's being stored. No harm done. 
And there you go, guys. This is kind of the very like early game, bare necessity sort of machines you would build in a usual game of Tekka Classic. You've got your generator to create power, your bat box to store the power, and you have a basic basic machine casing. No, my friend, this is a macerator to basically double all your resources and an electric furnace to cook them up a lot faster. Now, I've said basically, actually, and a couple of other words a whole lot throughout this video. I'm not sure why. I have a very large vocabulary, but for some reason when I record, I fall back on those words. Interesting. Very interesting. I think that I need to go sit down and, and have some time with myself when I think about why I use certain words in videos. Just explore the inner reaches of my soul. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out a good way to end this video. Maybe I should just say goodbye. So thank you folks for watching, and I will see you next time where we will build that metal thing that people have requested me build as well as a wrench because I think it's it's high time we organize this nonsense and uh yeah I'll see you guys then bye whoa oh, that's pleasant okay bye